Hello everyone, and welcome to this new video tutorial for Maverick Studio and Indie. In this video we will learn how to bring models from ZBrush to Maverick, in particular, models painted with ZBrush Polypaint. The sample models we will use here can be found on Sketchfab. As you may know from our previous video, Maverick can import Sketchfab models directly. However, for this video we imported some models in ZBrush and converted their textures to polypaint, in order to simulate a ZBrush workflow. The first model we picked is called Mountain King, by Pierre Antoine. Needless to say, we thank the author very much for this contribution to the 3D community. Mountain King is a fantastic model, and we will make it shine in Maverick. Here is the process. First, in ZBrush, let's go to Load Tool, and open our model. Here it is. As you can see if we inspect its material, we prepared it to be all polypaint, with its textures baked. Sending a model like this to Maverick is really easy. Let's go ahead and export, selecting FBX as the output format. In the FBX options, Enable smooth normals and press OK. From Maverick, we will use our ZBrush importer. We pick the FBX we just exported from ZBrush and wait for it to process. Then we select Open as a new scene and then we choose an ambience we like. On the next screen, we make sure the scale is what we want. In this case, we will set this to be a fairly large statue. And here it is. The model is now rendering in Maverick. Let's hide these panels in order to leave more room for the render window. On inspection, you can see how Mountain King has a Primvar map applied to its material, with the option for vertex colors selected. This is the way to reveal polypaint colors. Let's do a pretty render real quick, by enabling depth of field and then forcing the effect a bit from the camera attributes. Like so. Now let's add a light object. For example, a spotlight. We can move it with the normal light tool. Like this. Now let's add a top light. And a left light. And let's go ahead and enable our Mighty Light Mixer, which is really useful to visually fine-tune the light setup. Let's start by turning all layers off. Now let's enable the environment layer, and tone it down a bit. Now let's enable the spotlight layer and adjust its intensity as well. Let's enable the top and left lights, and play with their intensities to our taste. We consolidate our changes and our light setup is done. Then we may add a gradient backplate, which will probably suit this shot better. This blue one. Let's orbit the camera a bit. And we're done. This is how easy it is to produce great presentation shots in Maverick. For the next example, we went to Sketchfab again and picked a little critter. As always, all credits go to the author. Thank you very much, Digitalife 3D. We like this great looking scanned gecko. Once in ZBrush, we open our model. Which we prepared as described earlier so everything is polypaint. Again. Let's go ahead and export as FBX, and that's all. If your mesh is dangerously dense and you want to save some memory and export time without sacrificing polypaint quality, it is recommended to go to Decimation Master in Z plugin, and decimate the model with the option Keep Polypaint Enabled. This will greatly lower the total polygon count and will ease the export and render process. 
Back to Maverick. As you can see, our previous scene kept refining in the background. Again, we use our Z brush importer and wait for the mesh to process. We select open as a new scene and pick an ambience we like. Then we check the scale and orientation of the model. In this case, the gecko is flipped, which we can easily fix with this toggle here. The scale seems to be too large, which we can also rectify from this panel. Let's proceed. Let's change the environment to something more forestry. And let's configure the depth of field with Control Shift Left Mouse button or with the autofocus action in the context menu. Depth of field can be accentuated from the camera attributes. Note that you may want to lock exposure to make things easier. For this scene, we will enable the sun. Let's rotate and lower its position until shadows are cast the way we like. Achieving photo real results in Maverick is this easy. If we turn the camera around we can appreciate incredible quality and speed, and how quick and easy it is for a user to get to this result. Let's go with the last example in this video. Again, from Sketchfab, we picked a goblin model that we liked, and which we converted to polypaint in ZBrush. Again, all credits go to the author of the model, Sergey. Back to ZBrush, we followed the same steps as before. As you can see, we baked all the textures as polypaint. Again, we recommend that decimation with the Keep Polypaint option is used for a more fluid process. We export the model as FBX. and go back to Maverick. The previous render kept refining in the background. It looks spectacular. Let's go ahead and use our ZBrush importer, and choose the FBX file we just created from ZBrush. We hit Next and choose an ambience. Then we correct the flip axes, and crank the scale up. And here is the model in Maverick. Let's choose a viewpoint, and let's drop a new room. The room will auto-orient to match the camera. This model has several ZBrush subtools, which got imported into Maverick as separate objects with one material for each, set to reveal the polypaint vertex colors. Objects and materials are imported with the same names they have in ZBrush. Now let's go ahead and do a simple light setup. Let's create a spotlight. And then a left light and a top light. We will use light mixer as usual. Let's turn everything off. And then we enable one light at a time and adjust each intensity to our liking. The floor looks a bit burnt out. Let's decrease the burn factor in the tone mapping panel. Let's also pump up contrast and midtones. Do not forget to consolidate your changes in Light Mixer when you're done. This is all for this video. We have learned how to bring polypainted models from ZBrush, and how to create awesome hero shots of your artwork that look photo real with basically zero effort. We hope that you find this video helpful, and look forward to see your ZBrush magic brought to life with Maverick. Have fun rendering with Maverick.